So, all right. You've got the most annoying serve in pickleball. Now, how does it feel to be on the most annoying team in pickleball, Willie? I love it. I love it. It's, uh, you know, I went to Notre Dame and a lot of people, like, it's a very polarizing school. It's like you either really love them or you really hate them. And there's no real in between. And it seems like we're kind of getting to that point. We have a very strong fan base that really loves us. And then there are a lot of people that think we're very annoying and really don't love us. So, yeah, what's the deal with Ryan? <laughs> Ryan Harwood, or as the DC fans started calling him, Ryan Softwood. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a, he's just passionate, man. He loves it. He loves the environment. He loves the team, um, and he's he loves supporting us. And he's always there for us. It's great. We're really lucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we this is this is in reference to uh, to Tyler and Jimmy's uh, podcast. For those of you guys who don't know, they do run an entertaining podcast, King of the Court. Uh, they gave us credit, right? They said we're the most annoying team, but we're absolutely good for for pickleball. And they said some stuff about about Ryan being, um, you know, very obviously loud on the sidelines, and you know wants to be involved in the match. And uh, yeah, I don't think either of those things are are inaccurate. Mm -hmm. He helps us win points, right? Like for sure, he gets the crowd riled up. He gets in people's heads. Uh, he is absolutely our fifth man. Love him or hate him, like yeah, dude is our fifth man. I also think that like people like him are great for the sport too. You know, you look at our team and we're a very engaging team when we're playing. Uh, he. He gets the crowd involved. He, 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 you know, they have a great time because they're engaged and they want to support us or they want to not support us. Um, and I think it's good for the sport in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, some of the other chants that were going on were they were yelling at you that you're AL's partner, which, <laughs> which was really good until I sort of repossessed that after you did a couple of good things out there. Like you missed yeah. a couple balls and they started yelling AL's partner and then you hit a couple of nasty shots and then I started yelling right back at him, AL's partner, and we kind of took that chant back. It, like I, I've said this, I, I don't play with AL obviously in the on the fives. You do, Mari does as well. Can you take me through like the pressure of, of playing with Anna Lee? Because if you win, that's what you're supposed to do with Annalie. She doesn't lose very much. If you lose, it's your fault. How do you deal with that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think the pressure is completely alleviated by how supportive and positive of a teammate that she is. You know, obviously, people are going to say that if you win, it's AL. If you don't, it's her. But, you know, she's, you know, when she's always been there supporting me and, and bringing me up to, to play my best throughout the whole time. So I haven't really felt that pressure. Yeah, well, good for you. I'm glad I don't have to play with Annalie. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you, you obviously handle it super, super well. And Thanks. you guys have, what, lost just one or two matches on the whole year? Yeah, one regular season, then the one in the midseason tournament. Mm -hmm. So you guys are playing well, and... I'd agree. Like, I didn't know Anna Lee too much before this, and I've been super impressed with how she is as a, obviously as a player, right, but as a teammate. You know, I think I had some preconceived notions of some of these players that I just didn't know that were at the top and thought they might be some sort of diva or whatever, but, like, Anna Lee is an unbelievable teammate, and she just wants to win. Right. And so she's very smart in how she supports teammates. Right. Like she's not somebody that is ever eye rolling her teammates. Like, yeah, yeah. she at this point is used to playing with players that just aren't quite as as good as her. Right. She's always going to be the best female player on the court. Um, and yeah, she's she's been an incredible, incredible teammate. So. Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of that stems from uh, from Lee as well. Like both mm -hmm. Annalie and Lee. Lee does a great job of knowing when to uh, when to support you and when to push you. You know, to push you to to be better. Um, and I think they both walk that that balance that that fine line very well. Mm -hmm. 
I find it interesting that you, especially you, who've been around for so long, there's like players who you still feel like you don't know. I think everybody assumes that, you know, the same kind of cohort of pros is traveling all across the country. Like they get to know each other, hang out off the court, but there's still these relationships where, yeah, you're friendly, but you don't ever actually like talk to these people. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like there's a decent chunk of people. I feel like until you hang out with people outside of the context of a tournament, you don't really get to know them. Like when you're when you're sitting at the venue, shooting the shit, doing whatever, small talk, like that's different than going out to dinner with them. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I, you know, that's something that we've all really gotten to know each other on the fives. And I think that that's huge for for any team to to do. Um, so yeah, we all I know Lee, Anna Lee, obviously Will and Mari, like <laughs> better than I did before. Even though Anna Lee and I had been at tournaments for five years together, right? Um, okay, can you just, I think I've asked you this multiple times now, and you always give me a disappointing answer. Did you guys go celebrate your win? Did you do anything? We went on our pizza crawl. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> what was it? What did that entail? <laughs> and we just went to a couple different really cool, like iconic pizza joints in New York and uh, enjoyed a few slices with the team. Uh, which ones did you go to? La Industry. Okay. Do you remember the other one? Uh, I, uh, John's Mama's Two. Ben's. Mama's Two. Mama's it was two. the name of it. Huh. Hot take, but Mama's Two or whatever that was, it was Detroit style pizza, yeah. and I oh, thought it was better than La Industry. Good. Good. No, Detroit style pizza is yeah, yeah, the best yeah. S tier pizza. But us Midwesterners need to stick together. Yeah. So I appreciate Agreed. that. Better than Chicago style pizza. I'm just gonna say it. But I'm a big well, fan of New York style, so I had to go with La Industry, but interesting yeah they definitely had more unique slices at mama's too new york the industry was more of that like traditional like new york style so look it was uh we went five for five but it's it's regular season so we got uh we have what's the next one my uh job's not finished vegas, vegas. job's not done job's not finished job's not done uh i saw that you guys have a pretty cushy schedule to get you through the end of the year are you feeling good about your your odds here I mean, it turns out to statistically be, I guess, cushy. But, you know, if you looked at it at the beginning of the year, having to play Ben's team a few times, the Orlando Squeeze team, I think is still underperforming and, like, is a very, yeah. very dangerous team. I, I think they're a team that if they get some momentum and claw their way into the playoffs, which I think they've played less matches than anybody else, that's not a team that you want to see in the playoffs. Great Dream Breaker team, too. So, I mean, yeah, yeah sure, we have... We have a cushy schedule, I, I suppose, on paper. But as soon as you start thinking about that, like, that's when you get hosed. <laughs> Kudos to the DC fans for cheering after that historic beatdown that the that the ladies took. <laughs> that was tough. So I I saw uh, it was eight to five, and then it was twenty five to eight. That's wild. Mari Crazy. and Al were on an absolute tear on Sunday. Yeah. They the, those are the two most lopsided amazing. matches of MLP this year of scoring to twenty five. They beat the Black Diamonds twenty five to seven, and they beat DC, which is like a really really good team twenty five to eight. Like that was scary. Yeah, that was amazing. That was really amazing. DC did have a have a good fan section, and honestly, like they're clever. I love the fans that are that are clever. You know, the Ryan Softwood thing like <laughs> That was awesome. I, I looked at him and just laughed. I was like, "They fucking got you, Ryan." <laughs> <laughs> and then AL's partner was was pretty funny too, but That was a good one, but it did it did backfire, you know. Oh um, yeah. We took that and we ran. Oh, we took we took it back. All right, so hey, last thing about MLP for right now, unless you got anything else, but what do you think of our what's the one, two, three, four, five chant? We're catching some flack for that. It's the best chant in sports. <laughs> Period. Wait, what is that chant? Let's uh let me get a rendition. We just here. we just count to five. Oh, very cool. <laughs> oh, because you guys are the fives. Yeah. Yeah, so there we, we go. To it. Very but cool. we do it after we've won three points. So if you've won three points in a row, we do that every point until we lose another one. Oh. And so against DC, where we had like a lot of runs, we were yeah. counting to five a lot. I don't know who do you came think up that with that. Was, was that uh, Ryan? Do you think that was affecting Viv and Rachel? One 
thousand percent. It's tough. It's tough. I wouldn't want to play against Ryan Harwood. I wouldn't either. But they I love having him on our side. Us. No complaints there. Exactly. All right, so you guys specifically as a duo weren't doing so hot coming into New York City. I think you guys were three and nine on the year. You went four and one. What's clicking for you guys? You wanna you wanna go first, Zane? Go for it, Willie. Um, I I think that we just really, you know, we trust each other. Um and we we came uh-huh. into this event and <laughs> we came into this event and uh you know we were we were both executing really well you had a good result in vegas and i had a, a pretty good result in chicago and um we were just executing better and you know playing confidently really i, I think that's all there is to it we're, we're growing as a team yeah i mean we're figuring out how to play with one another and and each other's patterns you know the first couple times we struggled with me taking some of those middle backhands um, and we figured out that spot and, you know, I'm taking him sometimes you're taking him other times and we just are a little bit more in sync on some of those middle balls as you'd yeah. expect with, with partnerships. But dude, I just got to shout you out. Like you're so new to pick wall. You're playing some, so much better, right? Not to say, Thanks, that, I'm not saying that you're, you're bad by, by any means, but dude, you've, if your duper at the beginning of this was like a 6.3, you're like a 6.7, 6.8, 6.9. Hey, Hey, uh, by now. And, um, uh, <laughs> Thanks, yeah, dude, you're just playing playing awesome. Same with Mari, right? I think I'm yeah. pretty much playing more or less the same. We're, we're, you know, figuring out each other's games a little bit better. But you guys, we we picked as players that were on an upward trajectory, and you're proving us correct. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. We're uh, we're lucky to have you and Anna Lee to help help guide us in the right direction to getting better. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that chemistry right there. <laughs> um. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Dyler had fun. I 